I'm Jamie Mills from TheHandmadeHome.net, and today, with the help of Home Depot, we're going to teach you how to safely and properly start a fire. Fires are the quintessential gathering places for families and friends, and they're great to enjoy indoors or outdoors. Today, we're going to look at teaching you how to properly do this in your indoor fireplace. There's just a few simple things you need to have a great fire. Obviously, you need a fireplace. You also need some wood, preferably hardwood. You'll want some fire starter. You also need a grate to protect your furniture and your rugs. You'll want to be able to clean out the fireplace, either a shop vac and a brush and a shovel, and then a way to move your logs around, which also comes with an accessory kit. And last but not least, a lighter to get it going. As they think, preparation is the key to starting a safe and enjoyable fire. You'll probably have ash left over from a previous fire that needs to be cleaned out. This allows for better ventilation and just a better overall fire. You can do this with a simple brush, in a shovel or you can also do it with a shop bag. Once the fireplace is clean, you'll want to check and make sure the damper is open. You need a place for the smoke to escape and allow the fire to breathe. You simply just check up in your fireplace and pull the chain to make sure it's open. All fire needs fuel and the best fuel for your indoor fire is seasoned hardwood. You don't want to use a softwood because that's going to leave a residue on the inside of your chimney which is a little bit dangerous. By seasoned, we mean wood that has been cut and left out to dry for typically a season or longer. This allows the moisture to evaporate out and will allow the wood to burn hotter and longer. Old newspaper was once the preferred method of starting a fire, but today people use more things like synthetic logs and organic fire starters to help get their fire going. Once you've picked your fire starter, you want to make sure you stack your logs properly. This is a common mistake people make and it prevents their fire from burning properly. There are three main ways to do it. You have the triangle stack, the log cabin stack, and the upside down stack. The triangle fire is exactly how it sounds. You simply build a triangle out of your firewood, put your kindling inside and light from the inside, allowing the fire to build up. The upside down stack is simply what it sounds like as well. You start with your larger logs on bottom, then your medium logs, smaller, and your kindling. You'll light the kindling and it'll burn down to the larger logs. The log cabin stack is probably the most common stack. It's where you take the logs and you lay them perpendicular to each other with your kindling in the middle. You'll light the kindling and then it burns everything around it. Once you have your stack built, you're ready to light your fire, but you want to make sure you have your screen nearby. This will protect your furniture from the embers that might leave the fire. Lighting the fire is simple. You have your stack and your kindling is in there. Simply take a long lighter and ignite the kindling. You want to use your accessory kit to safely move the logs around. You can do this to help them burn a little bit better or even to add new logs. Following a few simple steps, getting some product from the Home Depot, you'll have a great fire in no time at all. 